My name is Jason DeLorm. I'm an architect evangelist at Microsoft, and I'm talking with ISVs about how they're taking advantage of the latest features in Windows 7. Today, we've got Eric Burns from Panopto. Uh, Eric, can you introduce yourself and, uh, and Panopto and uh, give us an idea of what you're doing on Windows 7? Uh, sure. I'm Eric Burns. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Panopto. And uh, what I want to show today are a couple of shell integrations that we've made that are only possible on Windows 7 and that uh, I believe increase the usability of our reporter application. Great, let's take a look. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and start up a demo. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually demo uh, Panopto recording using Panopto to record. And so we've actually, uh, I guess, eaten our own dog food and we're using our own tools for this. So let me begin recording our screen here. Excellent. All right, and we're off and running. So uh, what I want to show you here is just a simple modification that we've made to the uh, Panopto recorder to allow uh, Windows 7 shell integration. So what you can see here is our, our standard recorder interface. You can see that I'm uh, recording a video camera here, which is not the one that I'm recording the actual uh, presentation with, um, and that I've got a VU meter and a preview image. And so if I minimize the recorder application, uh, the first integration we did was to actually allow this preview image and the VU meter to be shown in the taskbar here, uh, the Windows 7 taskbar. And so I can actually, you can see that I have two instances of the recorder here. This is the other one that I'm using. Um, but I can actually control this recorder application completely from the taskbar. So if I minimize the app, hover over the taskbar, come here and then click record, I've now begun recording without even opening the application back up. So if I open it back up here, you can see that it's already kicked off recording and off I go. And uh, in the interest of time, uh, what I want to show also is the second piece of shell integration, uh, which is the fact that we've added an upload progress bar to, uh, to the... Uh, Jason, what do you call the region behind the icon in the taskbar? That's the, uh, the preview area. Okay, well in the preview area we've got an upload progress bar. So I'm going to stop this recording right now and minimize the app. And now what happens in our application is that once a, a piece of video has been recorded, we actually upload it directly to the server. And so you can see now that in the background of this, uh, this icon, we've got an upload progress meter. It's just beginning to show right now. But uh, let's bring the recorder back up and see if we can correlate these two. So actually, we may have already missed it, uh, but there it was. The, uh, the background filled up all the way to green, and now it's back to, uh, to the original gray color. So these are a couple of kind of subtle pieces of integration, but if you're using this, uh, this uh, piece of software quite a bit, uh, these are pretty helpful. You can control the application, start and stop, without actually opening it up. And uh, you can see how quickly the, uh, the uploads made it up to the server by watching the progress bar. So uh, that's, that's our integration right there. So let's recap. You've got three features, it sounds like. One of those is the taskbar preview um, that you've uh, tapped into. The other is having uh, thumbnail toolbars um, with, the, uh, with the record button there. And um, the, the third feature being that um, progress bar um, overlaying uh, on top of your, your program icon. So what's the, uh, involved, uh, what was involved in developing these features? How long did it take you to get that implemented? Uh, actually, it was incredibly quick. Uh, in fact, uh, you personally were a part of this. We were at the, uh, um, so it was the incubation week in uh, the Boston, Massachusetts Microsoft facility. And this was a couple of months ago. And basically, with, uh, with assistance from some folks at Microsoft, we were able to wire up these, uh, ta the, the taskbar integration, um, the icons to allow control, uh, the preview, and um, the, the upload progress bar in less than a week. And in fact, I think what it took just to get these running, just to make them work, was about a day of code. So it's an incredibly easy API to get going with. And uh, we were pretty amazed by uh, how much functionality we could spin up so quickly. That's great. So what are your users saying? Why, why would they use some of these features? What's, uh, what's the benefit to them? Well, um, in particular, being able to control the application and to see a video preview image without opening the app is a big feature for a lot of our users. Um, this is a presentation recording platform. And so in a lot of cases, people want to see how their preview image looks without opening the app or disrupting the flow of their presentation. And so if you can simply hover over an icon on the taskbar and, uh, and see what the camera sees and check your VU levels and and really see the application is healthy, uh, that's a lot better workflow than actually having to open the app and take a look at it. So this is just, it's one tiny thing that we kind of got for free, I guess, from a development standpoint, uh, just by using Windows 7. 
And was there any risk in some of your users that aren't on Windows 7? Did you have to do any special code around, um, for instance, people with Windows XP that might be leveraging your application? Uh, no. One of the nice things about the way this integrates is that it's uh, kind of a, a voluntary feature. If the OS supports it, then it's going to use these features, but otherwise uh, it just uses the old behavior. And so uh, just kind of tacking these things on, uh, not to, I guess, undersell the, the development work, um, was a pretty easy decision for us because, again, there's, there's little risk for uh, users of previous operating systems. That's great, Eric. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. Uh, I really appreciate your time today. Absolutely. Thank you very much.